Hey kids, it's Jessica again. I just had a couple of more crafts to share with you as well as a, another short devotion. This devotion is also from 1 Corinthians 13 like last time, the love chapter. If you remember last week, we talked about verse 5 and today we're going to talk about the next verse, verse 6, which says that love does not delight in wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. So I was going to share another story with you. Um, when I was about nine or 10, I was playing outside with some friends. There were three of us playing and we must have been getting kind of bored because we ended up getting into some trouble. I had a, another friend while we were playing on the play, the three of us were on the playground, another friend ended up walking by and she was on her way home. So somehow we thought it was a brilliant idea to throw sand at her. And so we, we got handfuls of sand and we were like throwing it at her. And of course she's hurt. Like she is running home and we were just laughing and making fun of her being very unkind. Well, later that day I uh, went home and I told my mom what had happened, but I didn't tell her that I threw sand. I told her that one of my other friends had thrown sand. Of course she looked at me and said, well, Jessica, did you throw sand too? And I looked back at her and I said, no, I didn't throw sand. So not only had I rejoiced, had enjoyed throwing sand at my friend, being unkind and making fun of her, I then turned around and also lied to my mom about it. I, I re wasn't rejoicing in telling her the truth, even though it was hard. I ended up going back a little while later that night and telling her the truth that I had thrown sand. And thankfully she didn't, she didn't punish me, but she did uh, next time I saw the, the um, friend who had been walking home, um, she, she told me I had to apologize. And even that was really hard. I was afraid that she wouldn't forgive me, but she did. And we were able to stay friends. Um, and I'm very thankful for that but I still remember how I delighted in wrongdoing. I delighted, I, I wasn't delighting in speaking the truth. I wasn't showing love to my friend. I didn't show love to my mom. And I wasn't uh, showing the love of God, showing um, God, uh, that I loved God by, by what I did. Um, and, and I forgot at that time that Jesus Christ died on the cross and he rose again for me and for you because he loves us and he delights in doing us good. And that means that we can also have a relationship with, with, with God. He, he, when we decide to follow Jesus by grace through faith, we are then given the Holy Spirit which empower, who empowers us to then take the love that God has shown us and the forgiveness that he offers us of the evil in our hearts and then share that with other people. So let's pray real quick um, and just ask God to, to uh, grow his love in our hearts. And if you're not a Christian, to, to, show, um, to show you why you need him. Dear God, thank you for another beautiful day outside, the sunshine, and, and I just pray that you would um, grow your love in us through the power of your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your love and forgiveness, and I just pray that you would help us to delight in doing good and to delight in speaking the truth um, and showing love to other people. In Jesus' name, amen. So today we have, again, two different crafts. We have a little tic-tac-toe craft and we have some, we have some, uh, we're going to make some paper plate masks. So the first craft, the tic-tac-toe, you're going to need some popsicle sticks, some craft sticks. If you don't have a pack of them, I guess you'll just have to eat a lot of popsicles. You also need some glue, or you can use, if you have help from your parents, you can use a glue gun. 
Then you'll need a little, uh, some, find some little rocks that you can use for your um, tic-tac-toe pieces. And you can use markers or um, actually I also used uh, watercolor paints. They, they paint pretty well on the wood, so you can use those as well to decorate. So all you have to do, you need four craft sticks and you're gonna place them on the table, two like this, and then you're gonna get two more and put them on top like that. So you just glue them together at the point where they meet. Um, if you use a glue gun, it's a lot quicker, but if you use the, uh, the bottle of glue, it, you'll have to wait till it dries. Um, and then you can decorate them. So I painted it with the watercolors red and then I put little O's and X's on the ends as well using markers. And you can see with the rocks, you'll need about eight to 10 rocks. So you'll divide them in half and half of them you do one shape or color and half of them you want to decorate another shape or color. So I actually did X's and hearts. So you can do whatever you want as long as there's two different designs and you split up the rocks evenly. And then there you go. You have a little tic-tac-toe board that you can play on. All right. The second one is also pretty easy. For this, you'll need paper plates and scissors or a craft knife. That's something your parents can use. Um, and then also need stuff to decorate it with, just like with the tic-tac-toe board. You'll need markers or you can use paint or crayons. Or, um, so all you have to do is you take your paper plate and you decide what design you wanna do. So I just cut out the eyes on mine. So you can take your marker and let's see, maybe this one will do round eyes. You draw what shape eyes you want and then you can have an, a, a grown up cut it out for you. It's kind of hard to do it um, and I don't want you to get hurt. So have, have an adult do it for you to cut out your eyes. And then once you've done that, you can decorate the rest of it with your markers or paint. So I made two of them. My first one is a lady. Hello kids, I hope you're having a good day. And the other one is Spider-Man. So you can choose whatever design you want. It can be a character or it can just be like a funny face, that kind of thing. All right, I hope you have fun, and I hope that um, you're encouraged today to just think about how you can love others and how um, you can love God and, and think about how um, he has already shown us his love by sending his son Jesus to die on the cross for us and how he delights in doing good for you. Have a great day.